Well, really disturbing visuals that we saw there uh, from just the Plateau State Capitol. Um, and I believe that sometime in the program, Honorable Da Chong Bagos will be joining us uh, shortly. He's a member of the National Security and Intelligence Committee. But right now, in our Abuja studios, we have with us Honorable Sergius Ogun, who is a member of Constitution Review Committee and also a member of the Committee on Petroleum Downstream. Um, I'm sure that, you know, the, the visuals were sufficiently disturbing for yeah. you and the story itself. Yeah. I mean, eight members of one family killed in one fell swoop in one night. Um, your mm. um, colleague um, has visited the place because it's, it's in his constituency mm. and he is, um, you know, really saddened about what has happened. Um, and it was seen that Plateau, even though the, the situation in Plateau has been on for a very long time, it, it, like it comes and goes, it starts mm. and stops. Um, generally, there has been, um, you know, a, a feeling of insecurity in many parts of the country, right here in the Federal Capital Territory after the Puja uh, prison break. We also have seen, um, you know, attacks on our uh, guards brigade happening in Buari, etc. Uh, we've seen the president have several security meetings um, since that, uh, since, you know, the attacks have happened. I'm just wondering uh, you, where we are currently, are you getting sufficient information that, you know, trends like this could actually be could, could be put to a halt, let me put it that way. Well, thank you for having me. I, I find it difficult to, to see how we're going to put an end to this. Because it's not something that started today. In fairness to the present government, mm -hmm. these things didn't start today. But just unfortunately, they made heavy weather of it in 2014, for 2014, 2015, during the campaigns. And today, if you talk, the party government will tell you you are politicizing security. So the point I'm making is it, it makes it very difficult to understand what they have done and what they have not done. Now, if we go back to the Kujé prison attack, it was told, like the week we went on vacation, yes. the, the presiding okay. officer, the deputy speaker, said there were 44 intels. Mm -hmm. So who does that? Uh, have you had specific conversation with him to get details? Uh, I'm sure that, that, I don't know whether you were just hearing it at the same time we were also hearing it, or whether you've had, you were able to have other conversations with him behind the scenes. No, I, I, with regards to I'm that. a member of the Committee on Army. Okay. I also got some information. I actually had a motion on, on the Kujé prison, but from nowhere, the chairman of the committee called me the week before we resumed. And uh, he said he was in my state. Oh, what are you doing? You know, where he was visiting prisons and all that. That's okay. in Edo State? Yes. So I said, okay, I have a motion on what happened. So we talked about it, you know, and uh, he was threatening me, don't move it to another committee, leave it with my committee and all that. So we talked. So by the next week when I was supposed to present it, I saw video, a video of him, the chairman of the committee and members of the committee visiting the prison. So hence, there was no need for me to move it anymore. But somehow, someone else, I think the chairman of the committee on intelligence brought a similar motion. But the interest we got was the, the, the carriership hills, that were some people were there for like two weeks, mm -hmm. and the farmers told the security agents and nothing was done. So the people actually give intel. Exactly, like the NSA people. was saying the other day that the people should give information. They give, they get the information, and yet nothing was done. You know. So the the this this I don't see. To come back to your question, I do not see an end to this. See, when we talk like this, they say, okay, oh well, we are believing in God. They say, what's God got to do with this? So okay, what else should we believe in? If you say the people should collaborate and give information, and they've done their best, risking their life to do this. A colleague told me from Katsina, can you mention the state, that a, a bandits came to a house, and they were to take the man and the woman away, and the man said, the woman is a visitor. And they allowed the woman go. The woman got to a police checkpoint and said, bandits just took my husband away. A little while after, they told the man, the bandits told the man, I thought you told us that the lady in the house just now was a visitor. 
So you lied to us. They broke his arm and leg. So who told him on this? Yet, people are supposed to volunteer information. So then we hear that security is not uh, coordinated. Whose fault is it? There was a senator on, uh, I think, Shell's program the other day was talking about the NSA should be sacked. Somebody actually brought a motion to that effect. I think it was late last year or early this year. No, the service chiefs, where they left, maybe there is, uh, there is uh, fresh blood, this set of guys that came in. Well, but right now, we, we can't really pinpoint what is going on. But we think there's no coordination. Mm. So the NSA also should go. There was a question. Sorry, I don't know if I can say this. Uh, yeah, quickly. There was a question somebody asked. To, somebody said Wiki will go to, Governor Wiki will go to Sambisa and flush out uh, the bandits, sorry, Boko Haram. When he was responding, that's when we went to give, give him his nomination form. He said, I will not go to Sambisa. But as a commander in chief, I will provide everything they ask me for, and I will give them timeline. If you don't deliver, I will fire you. Mm. Have we budgeted? Have we provided money for, for security? Mm. So people should be fired. Let's go to Lagos now. I'm sure that uh, they'll have further questions. Ladies well, and gentlemen. Well, yeah, I mean, when you say that uh, several motions have been brought for people to go, and you say you don't see an end to this, but the lawmakers, many of them across board in terms of the Senate and the House of Reps, think that if they impeach the president, it will put an end to this. Do you share the same thought? Uh, I, I don't. But uh, like Senator said yesterday, again, on show's program, that, well, maybe they are trying to get the attention, they are trying to get the attention, or we are trying to get the attention of the president. Yeah, maybe he's working. I think now we heard that he's changed some brigade of guards and all that, you know, or some geosis. Maybe that's working. But for how long? For how long can we keep threatening? I, I am not in support of impeachment because we did it the last assembly. I coordinated the collection of signatures for my state and it never happened. And um, I don't see it happening now. If you go through the process of impeachment, it's minimum four and a half months to achieve it. That is if you have a willing Senate president and speaker. But today, we know this, the president campaigned for these gentlemen. And uh, I don't see them. I don't see them in any way supporting it. But if they were to support it, we need minimum four and a half months for it to happen. And four and a half months from when we resume, that's if they allow us to resume 20th of September, when we're supposed to resume. If we resume 20th of September, four and a half months will also already take us into January, February, when the elections will be taking place. So it's not feasible, although I'm not in support right now, I don't see what it's going to achieve, and I don't even think we will get the numbers. In the last assembly, I remember somebody from Niger State told me that he didn't like the president, he doesn't see any reason why he would not even support the impeachment, but he asked me a question. Why should he, from the north, support the removal of the president and allow somebody from the southwest to take over power? These sentiments are still here today. So I don't see how it's going to work, but if the attempt is to get the president's attention, maybe it's working. 